I don't want any of them. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> it's 6-6-3-4 six, six, though. Still can't get over that. <laughs> holy, holy, holy. <laughs> well, look, there's some Bengalese. Let's go and get them. No time like the present. When will I reform into Yuan? Good question. Probably once I've eaten enough of Bengal and Malwa for it to not make much difference to me. I'll take that as well. Now this is actually something I haven't thought about. I was going to say probably quantity, but I'm spending enough military points as it is. I'm also spending enough admin points as it is, but I mean I'm not taking exploration maritime or espionage. <laughs> Unless I work my way up to that, so like the last, what is it, 30, uh, 25 years of the game. No, I think it's fine really at the moment, isn't it? Uh, economic is an option. Still got that land maintenance modifier on it. It's pointless taking it now because I won't save anything. Uh, but, but, uh, I don't even want quantity just for land maintenance modifier, and it seems pointless taking <laughs> taking it and then spending 1,600 points on it just to get that. Or I could go for defensive and just take that morale one. There's also a land maintenance modifier on there. Any thoughts in the chat? Oh, I, won't, I won't pick any yet. I should probably put the four siege guy down here. I've got two four siege guys. Oh, hello. Cool. Genghis Khan, or Chinggis Khan, was Temujin. I've got one vote for economic. I can get behind that. I'll just spend all my uh, monarch points on core and things, though. <laughs> this, is the, this is the thing. Ten percent extra tax. What's that getting me? Actually, five ducats a month. I don't know, man. Production efficiency. Now well, that would be worthwhile. That'd be like fourteen ducats a month. I don't really need quantity, do I? I've already got the biggest army in the world. Like I said, I'd, I'd only be taking it for the land maintenance modifier, and in that case, I'd be better off taking defensive. But really, morale-wise, I'm kind of fine as well. Who's got the most morale? Ooh. Not even on the first page. <laughs> yeah, income is an issue. I think... Um, this is with the fort switched on, though. I won't switch them off yet, but... Uh, I'd say 50 ducats a month switching the forts off. <laughs> I think I'll go for economic, but I probably won't, really won't make much, much, much of a difference until I hit the production efficiency one. Well, Bengal, I hope you like being dead. That's what's about to happen. Shame about Malacca. And Yemen is defender of the fucking faith again. Bastards. These guys into there. Cool. 
<clears throat> not having, not loving the idea of dealing with Malacca and Yemen. Which shit happens. You wish, Mui. They could actually run away as well. Let's get sieging. You're going to the mountains, of course you are. I could do without these armies knocking about though, if I'm honest. <laughs> They don't even have enough men to siege it down. Ugh. <laughs> but the mistake I made before was not sieging enough land down as as as, as much land down as possible, which uh, I'm going to try doing now myself. I do tell my subjects to do it, but they don't always do it. And I'll send, uh, once I catch this army, if I ever do, I'll send some guys down to, uh, whatever it's called, Malacca. Try and deal with them if I can. But we'll see. Oh, more mountains. Great. Let's get this taken. Might end up meeting them. Let's see. Oh, we're taking the capital. It's a good start. Gonna end up hitting Malacca as well at this rate. Let's just uh, let's head down here. Oh. <clears throat> Don't want to meet him in the mountains, really. Bullsore. Let's go over to Samba. But oh, let's actually see how reasonable it is to actually annex them. Oh, I bored of Malacca again though if I do this. Just do that. There we are. Problem solved. Well, we can certainly occupy a lot of them, or annex a lot of them. That looks good to me. Oh, they'll keep that stupid level 84 if I do that though, won't they? Let's, uh, there we are. So we'll go over 100 over extension, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. And we'll gobble them up as soon as we're able to, and we'll deal with Malwa in 93. Try and conquer India by the end of the game. We need to deal with the Ottomans at some point as well. re like Tunis, but that doesn't really matter. <whistles> They're still running. <laughs> Yemen's still knocking about. Uh, I try to think what they're doing. Well, my guys are helping out. Mm 
<laughs> like I've got a big army. Pardon me. Do not want. Armies to it for the time being. We'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh no, it happened. Uh... Let's wait two days. One. <laughs> two. Umbongu in the Congo. Uh, then we'll go through there to there. Yep, actually we'll go that way. <clears throat> Looks like we're winning this even without my Jews. I think their general died as well, which is quite funny. Won the Siege of Mysore. Brilliant. Let's do that one then. Go there. Savannah over here, but then lots of jungle, so forget that. They're arriving on the 16th. There we are. Battle of Mole Man, was that? <laughs> Not a stat quote, just maintained a few cannons. But it looks like we'll be fine. Uh, I'll get that before the end of the month. That's all good. Fucking Malacca. It was just cannons. <laughs> okay, then let's go over yonder. Actually, we'll do that, those ones. <clears throat> God damn it, Malaka, stop building troops. What do you think this is? Some kind of war? God, it's like a war zone over here. And they keep on coming. Let's run in case we're needed. You never know. Coromandel. Just hold tight for the time being. Yeah, only 14k of them, so should be alright there actually. Something else is under the occupation of someone else. Here we are. Go there. Tanjuri chicken. Surprised they went for that, if I'm honest. It's kind of uh, risky biscuits. Ayutthaya. Right, they don't need to run anymore. Neither do they. Everything's under control. <laughs> don't panic. Um, is it worth running up? Uh, not without my cannons. Need to wait for some reinforcements. Pardon me. I could potentially leave... Uh, like just all 40 cannons on that siege and then just run away. Because I think Malak have just sent all their force north. Or majority of them anyway.
Hooray. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You've still got cannons. You've still got cannons. What's going on? Alright, just go there then. <laughs> cannons over there. Then go building more troops like they need it or something. Well, they don't seem to be going very far, which is a godsend for me. I need to actually go and do something about them though. Can I catch one of these little stacks without my horse, without my cannons? I need cannons. Cannons needed. Ten, twenty. Thirty. There's some. Ah. <laughs> oh. Alright, just fucking take <laughs> all of these then. That'd do, wouldn't it? continue occupying in the meantime. Like our vassals have got that covered so we'll, uh, we'll come down here as well. How close are Malacca to peacing out? 62 so quite a long way away. These guys are 64 so they're quite a long way away as well. They're not really doing a lot over here are they? Yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of troops though. And a load of forts as well, unfortunately for me. Which means it's going to be a long expedition over there to deal with them. I think. <clears throat> We've run out of manpower already, that went well, didn't it? <laughs> Send them there. Them there. Them there. Them there. Them there. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> That'll do. Did I just send the same one to several different places? That may have happened. <laughs> Time will tell. Where are those goddamn cannons? I've sent the cannons down there. Cannons stay up there. <laughs> Pegu. No. Oh. What those guys are doing? They'll be fine. <clears throat> They won't. <laughs> Aha. Right, I have to do something about Yemen, but we'll deal with uh, Malacca first. Malacca of occupations is starting to hurt. <laughs> There's some of them up here. They just hide away. I don't know where they hide. <laughs> oh, they've gone up there. Jesus fucking. 
job. <laughs> you go there, you go there, you go there. Problem solved. In a certain manner of speaking. Ah, there goes the Siege of Ayutthaya. They will not wipe peace. Peace means nothing to these people. Well, more forts where that came from. <laughs> Did I go through all these troops on my way there? I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll just smash up some of their armies if I can. down. Start occupying some more land as well. This doesn't look good. Oh, those are ships. That's all right then. I can live with that. Do not like the look of that Yemen. Or what they're doing, anyway. <laughs> the look of them's fine. <laughs> I don't judge. What are we on? Negative 156. Oof. Oh, Yemen won't peace out. The war hasn't touched them yet. Nightmare. Time to force march. <laughs> Kill these guys, jeez. <clears throat> these 40 cannons are putting in the work. <laughs> occupied Mole Man, they occupied Fuying. Solve that problem. Sand away. Sounds like a uh, name of some kind of like sand cleaning product. <laughs> Unhappiness. Sh oh, schmun schmappiness, I was about to say. That's what I call schmun schmappiness. <laughs> I'll deal with Bengal later. Let's fuck up the Malaccans first. <laughs> Let's not just beat them up, beat them in a battle. Let's actively fuck them up. Oh, hello. They did have some troops there. Curiouser and curiouser. These guys don't have a general, so they're kind of fucked. <laughs> These guys are going to run into the other guys, which is equally fuckerific. Let's let's force march down with these guys. See what happens. Oh, hooray! I guess we'll do that one next. And it'll only take twenty nine months, <laughs> which is actually pretty good. Doesn't that look nice? Ah. Right now, where are they going? I'll get you. Yay. You're out there somewhere, beer baron. And I'll find you. Farmlands motherfuckers, get killed. <laughs> yeah.
There's some more over here. Well, I have to go that way anyway. <laughs> Gonna have to go over there at some point. 37. Maybe when we have a, a few more killings. <laughs> we have a few more killings under our belt. Now we've got a token amount of cannons on this army as well. That's good. More than them, anyway. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Well, it's all grass then, so wherever they go, I'm going to get them. Going to Kedah, where is that? Oh, it's there. Is that grasslands? It is! Huzzah! Or should I say, Kedda? <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> Time to die. Hi, it's Franz. <laughs> oh no. Wait. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Maybe after this battle on the siege, they'll definitely be up for it. I'm well up for it. There we are. You sluts. Uh, what's going on? Ah, that's fine. I might just let them run away, actually. Uh, yeah, we'll occupy some more stuff. That'll do. Uh, we'll use this army... To, oh no, we need to go that way anyway to deal with Yemen. So, pff, fuck it. And we definitely will force march the entire way. <laughs> We'd be mad not to. Do do. Quite like it if we could siege this down right now and then piece them up, maybe. If not, their capital's right next door, so we'll, uh, we'll get them soon afterwards anyway. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Are they sieging things back or no? Yes, they are. The bloody bastards. Stop that. <clears throat> if only I had a load of vassals that could do something about these small stacks rampaging through my country. If only. <laughs> it's not quite what I meant. Hey, I should have loaded those guys onto the cog squad and sent them over. Would that be quicker or nicker? I don't know, actually. Well, they take loads of attrition on at sea anyway, so wouldn't make much difference, really. Ooh, gems. Ooh. <laughs> Take that bloody fart. Malacca out. Well. Go, there we go. Hopefully that'll do it. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. God mother fucking damn it. Well, let's take the capital then. It's only a level one for it be done in no time at all. Yeah, we're forty nine percent without even trying.
build any more troops over right now. Curse them. Are they moving where are they going? Well, let's wait then. Sneeze. Bless me. <clears throat> right, that's all for tonight. I need to get an early night. Um, <clears throat> so, next time, hopefully I'll be able to piece out Malacca fairly quickly. Certainly, let's see if I can piece them out just as soon as this capital falls. If it does... If, if, if... It did! Hooray! Uh, money, money, money. That's the one. Yay. Right. Will they peace out? They will. They got plus 25 as well. Let's get war reps from them. Fact, better idea. Let's break that alliance. Cool. Right, so uh, next time we will peace out Yemen. Well, we'll have to run over there and peace them out, although relative strength for alliances is a lot less now. They're almost there. <laughs> Once we beat a few of their armies, they'll want to peace out, I think. And actually, their capital has been sieged down. That was what the main one was, so thanks for that, troops. So we'll peace Yemen out next time, then we'll peace out Bengal for all this shit that we want. Including that bit, probably. There we go. <laughs> be something like that. But we'll have to figure that out next time. And then after that, we'll go to war with Malwa in 93. But probably before that will be the Truce with Ottomans in 89. So the truces will dictate what we do next. <laughs> I'll see you, not tomorrow, but Friday evening, GMT. Bye.